blueprint happens so fast. People always think it's like an urban legend or a myth that the album was done in three days, but the vast majority of it was. Jay walked in on a Friday like, Josh, we got some beats, like, you know, I, got, I just got a CD from Ye. All right, cool. Like, and I, he wasn't scheduled to record. So I had nothing in the stash for him. So it was like me going through the hard drive. Girls, 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 the beat had been done. Everybody knows that I made that for Ghostface originally. Uh, you don't know had been done. The first iteration of it, I don't remember how it came about, but you don't know was at one point going to be Busta and Prodigy. A lot of people don't say me and P used to hang out a lot. And I, don't, I, still, and I still don't have a lot of rap friends, right? Like, P was one of the few, like, P would actually come to the house. And it was wild, because then Al ended up moving around the corner from me. So, um, You Don't Know had been done. And then I made Song Cry, like, the second night after Jake finished recording whatever he was recording that day. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And we got a new interview with Just Blaze on Idea Generation, where he speaks on the making of the blueprint. And in this clip, you can see him talking about the You Don't Know beat was originally for Busta Rhymes and Prodigy. If you don't know, in my opinion, that's one of Jay-Z's, definitely one of his top 20 best songs. Me personally, that's an anthem of mine. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't hit right unless you just, you know, got a bunch of money or you riding in a drop top, something nice, something foreign, who knows, you got the top down. That's the only way to get the full impact of the song is if you out, you know what I'm saying, doing something extravagant. But you know, I, I could see Busta Rhymes on like the remix when he had put M.O.P. on it. I could definitely see Busta Rhymes on that. But, you know, as far as Prodigy, I think in the beat would have went to Prodigy. I think it would have had more of a like a freestyle feel to it. It wouldn't have been the same. Don't get me wrong. I think P definitely would have smoked it. But as far as making it an anthem, nah. So I think it would have been interesting to hear Busta and P on it. But, you know, Jay-Z definitely did his thing on it. I'm a hustler, baby. I can sell water to a well. Like, yo, he snapped on that. So definitely one of my top 10 Jay-Z songs, you know, uh, top 10, top 20, something like that in no particular order. Yeah, I say top 20. I ain't gonna go as far as 10, but it's definitely one of the best hip hop songs to listen to whenever, you know, something good had happened, you know, but at the same time, you gotta have the volume up on that joint too when you're listening to it. You can't, can't really appreciate it if you got the volume all low and, you know what I'm saying? You're working or you're doing something, you're not really paying attention. Like, you, your swag gotta be all the way up. And I don't use that word. But anyway, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.